Hey and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at how the season's gone so far. Um, in the previous episode we looked at the start of the season, this second season of Hereford in the Van Ramen League, um, League North I should say, uh, and today we're going to have a look to see how it's gone. And I must say that I've delved into the data hub for the first time properly due to necessity. So let's take a look at the the season. So I think the previous episode I played against Southport and Telford uh, with you and we lost both, ma both matches and things weren't going well at all. Um, we found ourselves essentially in the relegation zone uh, here until um, I think I played one match against Shirley and then I made some tactical changes, but I think, I can't remember actually if it was the match before. Um, no, I think it was Shirley. It was either Shirley or, or Layston. Uh, one of those two matches, I made some tactical changes based on the data hub. So at the time, the data hub was saying that we were getting good crosses, but not enough crosses. So we needed to cross more. Uh, we also it also said that we were getting getting quite accurate shots, but not enough of them. So we needed to shoot more, and potentially that we could be um, playing for more um, set pieces. And we get, we were getting fouled quite a lot. So I made some changes, and essentially the changes uh, looked like um, I changed it to early um, early crosses, shooting on sight playing for set pieces and also running out the defense and that worked for a time but as you can see from the schedule I think we had 11 undefeat, undefeated a, a, a row of 11 undefeated matches for the Van Ramen North we even got as far as the fourth round for the FA Cup however we got knocked out against Boston for the FA Trophy and from then on everything just started to collapse with the same tactics so it's only fitting that now against surely once more time i'm gonna i i'm basically i delve into this, the data hub again and i found a few things that changed so they weren't expecting thing expected things either um so basically our crosses are now inaccurate we're not getting fouled quite as much and we're wasting a lot of our shots so I went back to the tactics and I removed early crosses and shooting on sight and now we're gonna work the ball into the box I'm not sure what to do here with the crosses I'm gonna leave it on low for now I took off play for set pieces and I'm gonna not only remove run at the fence but actually to dribble less so our passing is quite good so I'm gonna focus on passing instead of dribbling and those are the changes that I've made and we're going to try them now against Shirley, see if we turn things around. Now it, obviously we also went through the transfer window in January and a few changes occurred. So one of the perhaps more surprising changes is that we released Louis de Souza, our left back. He was only 20 years old, but his, he wasn't progressing. He wasn't playing badly, but he wasn't progressing. So I went and got uh, Joe Brown on, just on loan to try and kind of refresh that side of defense. The other change uh, is um, also in defense, Dave Stevens. I went to got him as a replacement for Liam Daly, who was getting very old. Uh, now, surprisingly, Callum Vaughan left the club without much warning. So we uh, went out and got I can find him. Oh, there we go. Andrew Toot to replace him. And the other change is in the um, attacking midfield where Carl also left us unexpectedly. And we went and got Ricky Holm on loan as well. So a few loans. Uh, a couple of them just because we wanted to try something new. Um, and a couple of them because players just left. Obviously, most of our players are non contract still. Uh, actually, maybe not most. Last year, most of our players were on contract, but this year it seemed to have just a, m a small portion of them on non-contract. So obviously, those players, when they leave, 
they leave without warning. Uh, Dynamics-wise, we're doing quite well. Uh, so we're in a lot better position than we were last year. Uh, we were our average from the start, and we now um, having good cohesion. As far as the table, uh, we still have that glitch with the table. But anyway, we are 12th at the moment, with uh, one or two matches behind. We went made it all the way up to 7th at one point, when we were going through our run of uh, wins and draws. So that's quite good, that's quite promising. So hopefully, if we keep up with adapting our tactics depending on what the data hub is telling us, we might be able to turn things around. I don't know, I don't. I, obviously this is all an experiment. I'm just trying to experiment, tweaking the tactics when I notice um, that we are not performing as well and I can then cor correlate that to some stats um, in the data hub. Now I'm not a huge fan of constantly tweaking tactics, I basically just want to set it up and leave it, but it's kind of forcing us at this point to th change things up. Now it would be ideal really to finish at least above 12th, because 12th was the real life um, uh, position for Hereford last year. We finished 13th last season in the game, so I definitely want to ach achieve more than that um, this season. We would ideally be in, in the position to play the playoffs. Uh, get a chance to be promoted, but seems like that's not going to be the case. It seems like we have a goalkeeper issue. Let's see what happens here. So the defender misses the cut. This guy just completely outruns the fence and lobs it over the keeper. We might have to rethink our keeper. Excuse me as I drink tea from a very special mug to me. It was given to me by a friend uh, while I was in Germany. So I routinely drink tea out of this massive beer mug in the winter. Right, Josh Bailey, let's put Cam. Um, Not an ideal swap, but um, what happens? Okay. All right. Okay. I'll just leave it like that. So three changes at halftime, just to try and come back. Ooh. It would be better off passing, but there was no one there to pass to, so, so that that's probably why. Okay, the goalkeeper doing a little bit better this time around. Good to see. Now I won't do changes, many changes. Well, I won't do any tactical changes between this match and the next. I'll probably do some um, player changes. But yeah, we'll keep it consistent for a couple of matches just to see how the players react to the changes. You need to let them get used to the changes before you can really evaluate whether the changes had made a difference, a difference or not. Now, I almost came back to record a couple of eps uh, one episode for a couple of those matches when we turned things around and we were doing really well, but I literally had no time to sit down and record an episode then. They were playing really well, and then all of a sudden, no changes, nothing. Just because we lost, we lost the FA Trophy, maybe morale went down, I'm not really sure, but we just started losing match after match.
Now, as far as the, you know, the channel goes, I've, I've just updated some things on the Patreon as well. Um, just to thank you guys for all the support as well, and also just to give you some other ways that you can support as well. If you can't commit to being a patron, then there's also a couple of different ways you can support. And I've explained that in a post that I released on Patreon just the other day. Whoops. Uh, can't do anything about that one. So one man down at the moment due to injury. Considered a penalty. Yeah, it's not great. I don't know if it's... It might be a goalkeeper thing. I'm not really sure. He's just sitting there. Yeah, I think it might be a goalkeeper thing. Although that one was offside, which is good. Way offside, man. Miles. Um, yeah, so we'll see what changes we do for the next match. But as I was saying, um, yeah, so I've had a little bit of time this week to just go and tidy things up, uh, both in the YouTube. Um, you know, profile and, you know, descriptions and things like that, but also on the Patreon side. Uh, I don't know, like, what else I can do, like, creative-wise for the Patreon, but if I have any ideas, um, I'll do some stuff. I don't use the Patreon all that much, but if you have any ideas of, like, things to do on there, feel free to give me a shout. And I, I'm even toying with the idea of maybe trying, like, a... I don't know how well this would work, but trying uh, like a um, Christmas Twitch, maybe on Christmas Eve, Christmas night, not not Christmas Eve, not the twenty fourth, but like the twenty fifth, uh, or maybe Boxing Day. But again, I don't know how well that would work, as I don't think my Wi-Fi would um, live up to it. I could try it. I could do like a could do maybe a Christmas test. Who knows? Right. So let's try and skip ahead to this next match. It's against Chester, and Chester. It says. Is a nineteenth. I don't know who that is. Oh, it was the director. Okay, fine. Don't care about that. how it stops every single day. Um, oh, it looks like the recording image is stuttering as well. I wish it would only stop if there was anything important to do, or unless you forced it to stop. So at the moment, uh, we've got Beanie. Let's have a look, just a quick look at Beanie, just a sec. Um, <laughs> So what we're we developing. Yeah, that's that is right. He's obviously quite a young player. Um I 
Okay, he thinks he's not getting enough playing time. And so this, so this is a um, um, attacking left wing target man. Um, and you know what? Fine, let him leave. If he wants to leave, let him leave. That's fine by me. Because he's not as good as Jamie Doyle, so I can't give him, give him enough time. He's not if he's not gonna. Right. Okay. So we're gonna play some opposition instructions. Anything else? Defend with more width. I'm all up for that. And. Leave them in. Let's look at this guy. Okay, no, no changes here. On the left, I'm pretty happy with him, Jack Lane. Defensive midfielder. This guy is injured and as well needs to change. Alex King is quite good anyway, so that's ha I'm happy with that. Dal in. This guy is just our standard. You, you've been complaining too much. Let's swap you in. I'm happy with Doolin. Now, uh, make sure we have all of our positions covered. Okay, let's go into a match. Some players are unhappy because they think um, um, they're not used to this these changes that I've just made in the tactic, so um, they're going to be unhappy until they get used to it. Obviously, things weren't going well at all, uh, so we needed to make some changes. Now, I am concerned about goalkeeping. Um, um, it might be that goalkeeping is the thing that's letting us down. He's usually a bit more accurate with those long shots as well. He scored quite a few long shots, Doolin, like that, previously. Well caught by the goalkeeper, that one. Nice, nice move. Come on. Oh, I should have gone the other way. That's a bad decision by the attacker there. But he got a corner. Just let it run off the pitch. I'm pretty sure I said it as... Wait a second. Why are they getting set pieces? It's because they're still used to it? They're still used to getting set pieces, maybe? So that's why they're using corners and long throws and stuff. I'd rather, at the moment, that they didn't do that. That they just played without thinking about set pieces, really. But I guess once they get used to playing in a certain way, it takes some time to not. There we go. That's one in, Jamie Doyle. Good to have you back, mate. on my tea gone. <sighs> oh, sorry, just bumped the mic. Right, that's good. Got one in a net. So we've changed. Um, we, we, it was almost not a ticky tacky because obviously we were attacking quite a lot. So we're getting early crosses in, shooting on site, running at the fence. So it was very much a counter. Um, counter-attack, rapid counter-attack, but also rapid formation of attack, creation of attack. Now we're more like, okay, let's, let's get our passes right, let's get our crosses right, 
and stuff. So Jamie Doyle here again with a header this time from corner. Pretty good. And I don't see the need for any changes in halftime, so let's just crack on as it is. Let's see what the goalkeeper... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think we have a goalkeeper issue. That was awful. One on one. It's just the one on ones, isn't it? It's just terrible. Slow reaction time. Okay, we've got a free kick here. I'm just going to go for it. Ross, maybe? Yeah, Ross. There we go. Over the top. Never mind. I nearly forgot about substitutions. Let's do them before this free kick. I'm gonna change old guys that I don't have. Oh, actually, I'm gonna change him. I tend to go for like the lowest ratings or anyone who's obviously tired or anyone who has a yellow card. Um, but yeah. So at the moment, there's no one like obviously tired. Maybe he he is, but yeah, I don't want to really put Cam in there. So, um, keep bumping the mic, sorry. Um, I might get Ross at the front and put Ricky Holmes in. So Ross does more of a poaching um, position at this point and Ricky uh, is going to be doing the creating. And as you can see, I don't play with a goalkeeper on the bench. I very rarely do. Maybe uh, um, sometimes in cup competitions I do, but um, not usually. Okay, this is the last 30 seconds. It's always nerve wracking when the show when the game shows you the last 30 seconds because. Often it the game just turns around. All right, Ross is gonna try and oh, we got a foul. And that was the end. Okay, so we got a win. That was good. Uh, that means we are three points behind the next team, and we've got one game to catch up anyway. So if we win that next game, we might be in eleventh, which is quite good, you know. Obviously not the seventh that we were at one point, but still quite good. So yeah, so I'm going to carry on and now until the end of the season. Um, I'm going to maybe look at goalkeeping, maybe later, like a few, I'll, I'll let a few weeks go by and then maybe I'll tweak the tactic a little bit again, but I'm just going to carry on with this rhythm now. The, the squad is completed. Maybe if Sam uh, Deadfield decides to leave. We might have to get someone in quick, but there's also the youth as well to think about. So I don't necessarily have to get someone in new. Give Dwell some playing time so he can score some more goals for us. And yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. Um, I'd quite like to get to the playoffs, but we'll see how that goes. Catch up with you in the next episode for the end of the season. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, all the things. Check out the Patreon, check out the links in the description. I've just updated those. I've also updated the profile, updated the Patreon, all of the things. Go check it out if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and take care. Bye-bye.